Hello everyone! Today I am finally going to be decluttering my freezer. Now my freezer is relatively small, but still it is amazing how much we all can accumulate even in a relatively small space. And the problem with that is things get freezer burnt, things get buried, even with a small, small freezer like this. And you end up buying things you already have. You end up throwing things out that you could have used. Both of those things are a huge waste of time and money. So it's really important to frequently, usually a minimum of once every six months, maybe even more frequently, depending on how much goes in and out your freezer, to look at this. And here we go. Now again, even in this small space, you can see the door, you can see what's in here, it's a mess. <laughs> I'm going to take everything out because I really don't want to defrost my freezer, it's fine. But I'm going to quickly take everything out and put it out on a table so I can see exactly what I have and I can organize it to put it back in this freezer. So let's get that done first. Now, as you all can see, this is actually a lot. All of this stuff was in my freezer. <laughs> so, I'm going to go through this. And I'm probably going to need a tub to set some of this stuff in. But I'm going to go through this and sort it out. I'm going to put meat in one area, uh, vegetables in one area, baking and cooking things in one area, drink mixes <laughs> in one area. And uh, once I get it sorted out, I'll figure out what needs to go and what needs to stay. Now I'm sure some of you saw these uh, packages that I pulled out. This is actually elk meat uh, that was gifted to me uh, from some friends. And I've got numerous packages of this elk meat. It was just put in the freezer uh, this week. So I will put this in a box first and kind of get it out of the way. Okay. Now the elk meat is eaten, elk meat is fresh because one of the things I want to do as I go through this is look at what is the oldest. Whatever is the oldest, I'm going to put in the front of the freezer. It needs to be used first. <clears throat> and one of those things is a pork loin roast. It has been sitting in here since 2021. Yes, it's still good. <laughs> I'm going to take this and make some tamale meat, some taco meat, uh, something of that nature. So I'm actually going to set this out because I'm going to do that this week. That's what happens when you save a good piece of meat or something in your freezer. You forget it's there. And that's a shame. So we don't want to do that. Now these four are drink mixes uh, that I got last summer and have not used. So I'm going to set these back in the door of the freezer for now. Uh, I'm sure that's what, where they will reside. But I, there's four. Actually, there's five. So I'm going to do that right quick just to get them off my table. Now there are a lot of things like these fries. These, this is, these are some leftover crinkle fries, and they have been in here, it says they're still good through August, but I can tell you they've been in here quite a while and are probably freezer burned. So things like this, I will just dispose of. On this end of the table, I'm going to put uh, most of the meat, and I actually have a bigger variety of meat than I thought I had. I've got some salmon. This salmon is clearly freezer burned. You can tell it's discolored. Uh, what I'm going to do with this is I will probably go ahead and cook this, probably just microwave it, and this will become uh, some ki little kitty feed. <laughs> uh, this will go to my cats, but uh, you can tell when it gets discolored like this, no matter what the date is on the package, uh, that's probably not good to eat, especially with fish. It doesn't keep in a freezer as long as other things. So this has got to go, which is a shame because that was salmon. Too bad. This is why you need to declutter more often. On the other hand, I have a fabulous tuna steak that is still good. It's still fresh. It looks fabulous, so I will keep that and have that. These are some corn dogs that are clearly freezer burned. Clearly freezer burned. I don't even know how old these are. Um, so those will get tossed too. There's some Christmas treats. I'll put these in the door. 
of my refrigerator, get them out of the way, and that's where they need to be, is in the door. Along with that, I have some uh, flaked coconut. I always keep this in the freezer. It keeps it fresh. It doesn't get freezer burned, so I'll put these two items in the door of my freezer. These are some little candy bars that were in there. I don't particularly like these, and they are freezer burned. I don't even know how old they are. They're going to go. Now, let's go back to our meat selection here. I have um, some ground beef. Most of this is relatively new uh, that I've just bought here recently. I have some ground beef. Uh, this is all ground beef, so I'm going to put it, set it all together. This is actually something I made last time I had elk meat, which has been a while. Is some, um, I believe it is elk meatloaf. Yes, it is. It is elk meatloaf. Um, I'm sure, since it's only wrapped in foil, it is probably somewhat freezer burned by now, but my little dog Gracie loves elk meat, so I'm going to set that out for her because she will eat this. Uh, these are mango habanero bratwurst, which if you ever get a chance to have these, they're wonderful. Most of my meat, as you can tell, comes from a local butcher. They are wonderful. It's high country meats. <clears throat> I have some pork chops. Anything that is wrapped like this from High Country is a little bit older. So these are hot links, a little bit of ground beef. Goes in my ground beef pile. Okay. I have some cube steaks. This is also, whoops, this is also cube steaks. So I've got two of these. And that's what happens when you don't realize what you have. So my cube steaks are right here. Uh, these links will go down here with the habanero links. I've got some Italian sausage. Uh, these are bratwurst and ground pork. And this is also ground pork over here. So, this is my pork, fish, pork, ground uh, beef. These are um, links and cube steaks. Put my links there. And this is Italian sausage. So I'll put this by my pork as well. These things that keep sliding off, this is actually sweet corn from last fall that I put up in my freezer. And these need to be eaten. So I'll put these in the front of my freezer. Oop. We have another cubed beef right there. These are yeast rolls and I can tell just from feeling them, they're very, very freezer burned. So they're gonna go. Some of the baking items I have is a brown gravy mix. And I've got a couple of things of brown gravy mix right here, and I keep that in the freezer. It lasts forever, basically. I also have my cultured buttermilk that is dry. I also keep this in the freezer. Oh, here's some more elk meat. Here's some more ground beef. These vegetables are very, very freezer burned. I can feel them very... Um, crusty on the inside. So unfortunately both these are going to go. They're nice vegetables, but I don't like freezer burn vegetables. So unfortunately these have to go. And here again, I just wasn't paying attention to what I had in there. I do keep Cool Whip in my uh, freezer. This actually looks good. I eat it kind of like ice cream. When I'm uh, needing a spoonful of something sweet, I'll get a little Cool Whip instead of ice cream. Now here is a good example of why you need to declutter. I did not realize I had some chili bueno in my freezer. And now I have two because I didn't realize some was in there. So what you do is you take the, uh, this is good until 2024. This is good until 2025. So I'll leave this one in here. And this one I will use with my pork loin roast to make tamales. So I'll set it out. These are some hatch green chilies. This is fruit, and this is relatively recent uh, that I got this fruit. So this is this I'm going to leave in the freezer, relatively recent. I'll put that back in there. I also have some store-bought Italian sausage. This was way back in the back, but I bought some more Italian sausage from uh, High Country because I did not realize I had this. That's a problem. I have two cans of apple juice concentrate. I didn't even know these were in there. 
I tend to buy apple juice concentrate when I'm canning, if I'm making uh, any sort of jam or juice. I always have these around, and I totally forgot they were up there. This is some pasta, some handmade pasta that unfortunately is also very freezer burnt. This is excellent pasta. It's harvest squash ravioli. And I'm going to have to throw it away because I didn't pay attention to what was in there. This is some more ground pork that I have. These are some chicken wings that I totally forgot I had. One full chicken, which I do need to use. It's been a while since uh, this chicken's been in my freezer for a while. So I do need to use this. He'll be in the front. Um, this one's been in there quite a while. I can tell it is just full of frost. So this will not be good. I'll have to throw this away. And then the last thing, other than my box of elk meat, is some phyllo dough. I love using phyllo dough on occasion, and this has been in there for a while. Um, this is why I bought the fruit. I was going to make a uh, wonderful fruit-filled uh, type baklava kind of thing with nuts, and I haven't done it yet, so it's still sitting in there. And I'm going to start with my elk meat. Beside this, I'm going to be putting my ground beef. One of these is a lot older than the rest of it, so I'm going to put this right in front. Now you can see how well organized it is. All of the oldest things are right here in front. So I'll be sure to use them first. I've gotten rid of all the stuff that was freezer burned, which really wasn't all that much stuff, but it was enough. When you have a small space, it doesn't take much to gunk it up. And the door, and you know, now has my tuna, uh, the little uh, candies, the coconut, the drink mixes, and my buttermilk. That's all that's in the door. So this is now a very efficient freezer, and I actually have room for more. Not that I would want a lot more in here, <laughs> but I actually have room for more. So hopefully this will inspire you to get to decluttering your own freezer space. Thanks for watching.